Hi everyone, it's Julie. Welcome back to my story time. As I've mentioned before, we are in the holy season of Lent, the time when we can prepare our hearts and minds for Easter, a time when we can spend time growing closer to Jesus, knowing more about his love, reading Bible stories, praying, serving others in his name. And so today I thought I would read a story entitled, Who Counts? 100 Sheep, 10 Coins, and Two Sons. This book is written by Amy Jill Levine and Sandy Eisenberg Sasso and illustrated by Margot McGank. Now this story book is about, based on three stories found in the Bible, stories that are more commonly known as parables. They are found in the Gospel of Luke in the New Testament, chapter 15. So if you want to ask your parents, you can go and read those Bible stories together and you can talk more about them. Um, but this storybook is written based on those three parables. So what's a parable? A parable is a way that Jesus told stories. He took things that were common in, their, in the people's everyday life, and he used those to help tell us stories about God's love so they could understand more about who God is and his love for everyone. So I'm going to read to you the first two stories out of this book, the one about 100 sheep, and 10 coins. So let's read them together. 100 sheep. 100 sheep. It's just a single if just a single one were lost, who would notice? Who counted sheep anyway? The man did. The man had a lot of sheep, 100 of them. He counted them every day. <laughs> Look here, they all have little bandanas on them with numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, here he kept counting. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It took time to count. A long time. Can you count by tens to 100? <laughs> One day, the man counted again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. He stopped. There were only 99. He must have made a mistake. He had 100 sheep, not 99. So we counted again. Still, there were only 99. One of his sheep was missing. He was responsible for all the sheep, all 100 of them. Oh no. Immediately, the man went to look for the lost sheep. He walked and he walked but he saw nothing. He kept walking. He looked to the left, nothing. He looked to the right, nothing. He walked and he listened. Still, nothing. And then he heard it, a bleeding sound. Bah! Do you see anything? Do you see anything yet? He ran toward the sound, and there she was, the lost sheep. He had found her. She was too tired to follow him home, so he lifted her on his shoulders and carried her. Oh, look at his happy face. So happy to find the lost sheep. He was so happy to have all the sheep together that he invited everyone to celebrate. And some people said, what's so wonderful? It was only one sheep. You had 99 others. The man smiled. One sheep makes a difference. Without her, something is missing. Now my flock is complete. <laughs> the end.
And now I'll read the story about the 10 coins. And I'm going to use a word for the coins called drachmas. That's the name of the coins that were from ancient time when Jesus um, was alive on earth. And so I want, many time I'll use the word drachma, I also will use the word coin. It's the same thing, okay? So 10 drachmas, 10 silver coins. Every day the woman would count them. Can you count the 10 coins on this page? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then one day she counted. Let's count them on this page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> she stopped. She couldn't have made a mistake, but she counted again anyway. Still, she counted only nine. One drachma was missing. She had lost one of her coins. The woman lit a lamp to see more clearly. She looked under chairs and in the corners. No coin. She looked in the cabinets and the waste baskets. Still no drachma. She took a broom and swept the floor. There were crumbs and dust, but no coin. It was all her fault. Have you lost something before and you had to look for it? I have. She had lost the coin and now she must find it. She searched again with the light and the broom. Finally, she saw something shiny and heard a ping. She looked down and there it was, the missing coin. Do you see it? She held the coin in her hand for a few moments, and then she carefully placed it with the other drachmas. She was so happy to have all the coins she invited the women in the town to celebrate. Some people said, what is so important? It was only one coin. The woman smiled. Just one coin matters. Without it, something is missing. Now, my coin collection is complete. The end. Hmm. Now the message in these two parables is simple. Everyone counts and everyone likes to be counted. And to Jesus, everyone matters. And he is love for you and love for everyone else in the world is so big and so huge that there's enough love to go around. But God's kingdom isn't complete until everyone knows about Jesus's love. Everyone matters. And so we can play a part to help others know about Jesus. We can tell others how much Jesus loves them. Tell them stories about Jesus. Tell them that God loves them so much that they matter to him. And so we can do that together. This week, I hope you'll reach out to people and tell them that Jesus loves them at school, at home, as you're on a walk, if you're in the store, because everyone matters to Jesus. And because he first loved us, everyone matters to us too. And we can make a difference out in the world by helping others and helping them know Jesus. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Next week is spring break for a lot of you, but I will still be here. Talk to you soon. See you next week. Bye-bye.